basic words and phrases hello goodbye please thank you etc part one so these are some words and phrases that all students need to know really when they start learning English at the beginning of a course really basic things that uh, they need to uh, be able to say to communicate with other English speaking people so we start on the left side now this is a two page document we start on the left side with basic greetings we can say hello it's the most general hi it's a bit uh, more informal but we can use it generally with with most people that we meet certainly hello it's acceptable to everybody good morning good afternoon good evening these are uh, really polite uh, maybe we'd use them with uh, people we don't know well or uh, you know, if you're ad addressing a group of people that you don't know <coughs> I might say this to my students in the morning good morning everybody uh, how are you fine thanks you not bad so it's really typical for English people to reply uh, to the greeting how are you with fine thanks because when we ask how are you we're not really inquiring about somebody's health we don't want to know if they've got an ingrowing toenail or some horrible kind of health problem we're just really saying hello how are you fine thanks fine so if somebody says they're fine they can be really sick they can be absolutely well or anywhere in between but it's customary to ask after the person the other person you and you not bad again not bad it's sort of non-committal um, expression not bad I'm okay fine because we don't want to go into it we're not t we're not really asking about health it's just a way of uh, getting into the conversation or greeting somebody so these are greetings nice to meet you so when you meet somebody for the first time English people shake hands when they meet for the first time here in Poland uh, all guys shake hands whenever they meet which is really seems really strange to me nice to see you nice to see you again we can say to somebody that we we've already met and the answer you too nice to see you you too and then maybe how are you doing how are you um, yeah general greetings uh, what about parting when we leave somebody goodbye it's the most standard word good night uh, if it's after about maybe 7 p.m. 8 p.m. I think the most common is maybe bye bye for now bye for now or just bye see you see you later okay see you later we don't mean later that day we mean just generally uh, in the future yeah, see you soon see you later we might say see you then see you then see you then bye it's really just a way of saying goodbye it's not very often that I would say the full word goodbye goodbye um, bye it's, an, it's enough for me see you something I would say quite often and in the last box on the right we've got some really useful important words and phrases of course yes and no we, can, we often say yeah instead of yes okay it's agreement uh, somewhere in between is maybe perhaps are you going to the concert on Friday yes yeah yeah okay no maybe so there's a possibility there of course connected to may modal verb perhaps 
it's possible. It really means the same as maybe. Then we've got please and thank you. Thank you is often shortened to thanks. Um, and the answer to this is really no problem. Any time. Um, another useful word if you get into trouble is sorry. English people love to hear uh, apologies. We like to, s to do it, we like to say it and we like to hear it when something's wrong. Often uh, foreign speaking, foreign language speaking people coming to England can get a bad reception if they don't use polite words and phrases like please, thank you, sorry, excuse me, that's another one. You don't have to mean it. It's just an apology, it's just a word, but we like to hear it. It helps to uh, ease the the awkwardness of the situation. And somebody might say, oh, that's okay, don't worry about it, it's all right. It's no problem. Yeah. So this first page, part one, is really th the basics and the most important ones. And then this topic is developed a bit further on the second page. You can see all the same uh, words and phrases from the first page. But it's a little bit more um, in-depth, Something maybe something new for elementary intermediate level even students maybe this second page is not for not for beginners to learn about at the moment but it's up to you it's your judgment of course so in the first box we've got all the the hellos and how are you it's nice to meet you but what about here towards the bottom of the page are you all right are you all right you're right. You might hear this expression, especially in the north, northern parts of England. Hiya, hiya. Are you right? Again, we're not asking uh, about somebody's health, really. Let's make enlarge this a bit. I'm not interested in your varicose veins or your serious health problem or not ser or funny health problem not really but it's just an expression like hi hello are you alright yeah I'm alright yeah not bad how are you and you fine and we get through this quickly uh, often students Polish students come to my class and they individual students and they say are you alright how are you doing and they say, fine, good. But they don't ask about me, they don't ask how I'm doing. No, they should, as part of the just etiquette or politeness. So I have to tell them, remind them to do it, let's say. How's it going? How are things with you? How is, how is everything? Uh, you might get a more in-depth answer. Oh, my wife's done this, my child has done that, I'm doing this. Uh, we forgot to say, hey up me dog, hey up, hey up, are you alright? This is where I come from in Derby, Derbyshire, maybe Yorkshire, we can hear this funny expression. If you go around the map of England, and look for slang phrases, you'll find a lot of different uh, hellos and goodbyes, words for, like for greeting and parting. I hope you're alright. I don't ever say this now, but when I lived in Derby I would say it probably every day to different people. How's it going? How are things? How are you doing? This can be contracted. How are you doing? How are you doing? I had a friend once who used to say, how you diddling? And that was his catchphrase. He had so, m so many catchphrases. That was one of them. Bless him. Good to see you again. Good to see you. How are things? You know, look, in, look somebody in the eye and say it like you mean it. 
maybe you don't mean that in English people have a reputation for being rather insincere but we still say these phrases we want people to think that we are interested in them we care about them what's new what's up what's happening what's been happening at the moment what have you been up to would have would have would have you might find some very well spoken English people who say what have you been up to lately recently no present perfect what are you up to at the moment? Yeah, what about saying goodbye? Let's have a look at the next group here. Well, I have to go. I've got to go. I've got to go. Gotta, you might hear. Gotta go. I'd better go. I don't want to be late. I've got work tomorrow. I'd better go. Yeah, I've got to go. Got to. I must. I must go. Probably would say I have to go, I've got to go, because it's something like external telling us uh, that uh, an external situation that means we have to finish the evening or whatever we're doing. It's not my wish, I must go. It's probably something I wouldn't say, because it's not my wish to go. Or we don't want the person to think it is, even if it is your wish. You still should make up an excuse like, oh, I've, I've got to go because I left, uh, I think I left the ironing, the iron on, on the ironing board. I left something in the oven, so I better go. Had better. We use it for, like, should. Strong should. It was great to see you. It was great seeing you again. Let's get together again soon. Really nice and polite. Again, we don't always mean it, but we want the person, uh, the listener, to think that we do. We do mean it. See ya. See ya. See ya. This is just like saying goodbye. Cheers. Ta-ra. In parts of the country. All the best. Great to see you. All the best. Take care. Take care is another one we've we've added here. Uh, looking at the top of this list, we've got night. We can say contraction of good night. 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 And really long vowel sound. Uh, the next one, bye-bye. It's the mistake that, that my students often make, not only Polish but a lot of different nationalities. They think it's a cute way, a nice way of saying goodbye. But it's really only used f with children or with babies. We could say bye-bye, 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 like that. Not bye-bye, anyway. Uh, adults will say bye, bye, see you you later but to children we say bye bye well you might meet an adult who's a little bit like a child and will speak in a funny voice and say that oh bye bye see you see you soon bye bye um, but it's not good for general use have a good day ev afternoon evening night have a good weekend, have a good Monday, have a good night, uh, whatever you're doing. This shows that we're thinking about the other person. We're wishing them well, really well. Of course. Of course, whether you're sincere or not depends on you and the person you're with, yeah? person you're talking to. If you love this person, I think you will mean it. Have a good day. Have a good day at school, son. Thanks, Dad. Uh, so what about yes, yeah, okay, o of course, it's been added. No, nah. Some people, maybe teenagers, will say this, nah. Have you done your homework? Nah. No way! This can mean uh, absolutely not, or it could be an expression of surprise. 
No way. No way, really. Um, okay, the others, we've got the others here. Um, maybe this could be useful in the first few days or weeks of the course. I don't know. I don't understand. Can you help me, please? Please, can you? These are good words to remember. Politeness is really pays off when you're in England because you get better service, you get better connection with whoever is working for you or working with you. And everything is better for you when you use polite phrases. When you're rude and say, you know, help me, teacher, help. Teacher, I need help. Then maybe you get slightly worse service from the person. Thank you very much. It's really strong thanks. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your help. I don't know what I would have done without it. Or without you. Yeah. Sounds like everything I say is insincere in this uh, short video, but it's not really, you know, it it's something I would say if I really meant it to somebody who had helped me. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. It was really helpful. Thanks a lot. Ta very much. It's more informal slang. Cheers, mate. Mate, that being the person you're talking to can be male, female, anybody. Maybe not someone of a high social status. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Nice one. This very informal among friends, like cheers, mate, ta very much. Many thanks. This is something I would write in an email, maybe to the bank, if requesting help. Many thanks for your last email. Many thanks for your help. I greatly appreciate it, greatly, being more formal. Many thanks. I think this can be sometimes an insincere expression. And I try to avoid it when I really mean, when I really am thankful, I try to avoid putting many thanks. Because it so sounds a little bit like a stock phrase, standard phrase. Not from the heart, yeah. If you can say why you appreciate it, that would also help a lot. That could make it more of a personal touch, yeah. Oh, I really appreciate it because I didn't have much time to finish my project and it was a big help, for example. Many thanks. On the other hand, it sounds a bit like a standard phrase in a, uh, in a greetings card or in a in a book about how to write business letters. Sorry I haven't been in touch. Again it's rather formal uh, but could be useful, a useful phrase. Sorry, sorry it's always good to hear uh, with English people. We like to hear it, we love it. Sorry. 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 No. There was even a, a TV show sitcom called Sorry. But we like it and it helps us to navigate different social situations. So there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I think in other cultures it can be different. And sorry really means strong apology but for English people we say sorry you know if somebody uh, brushes past us in a busy train station we say sorry they do, you know they might as well we both say it if they're a foreigner uh, then maybe they wouldn't say it but we certainly say sorry sorry I was in the way yeah. So, this is basic words and phrases. I think that's covered it 
in enough detail. If you have any more uh, questions or comments about it, please uh, type something in the comments or send us an email at English info at englishbanana.com. Bye for now. See you. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good afternoon, evening, night. Take care. I've got to go. I'd better go now. Bye. <laughs> See ya.